You knew Justice Stevens. I knew Justice Stevens. Let's talk about his role in the court. Besides just being there a long time and writing a lot of opinions, what was his influence? Well, his influence was, by the time he left the court, was he was the leader of the liberal wing. He was the senior justice uh, among the, the more liberal justices, and so he wrote some of the biggest dissents uh, in the last uh, decade or so, the dissent in the, the ruling that established individual gun rights, the dissent from uh, the ruling that uh, made George W. Bush president in 2000. Uh, he was somebody who evolved over the course of time. He was not quite so liberal when he joined the court, but in particular on some social issues like affirmative action and the death penalty. He did move to the left. He also saw the court move to the right during that time, uh, and that left him, as I said, as one of the liberal leaders on the court. Yeah, which is not necessarily the way he thought of himself. I mean, he was appointed by Richard Nixon to the Court of Appeals and then by Gerald Ford to the Supreme Court, two Republicans. And when asked about this, as you know, he would say, I didn't move, the court moved to the right. Now, maybe that's not entirely true, but is there some truth to what he says? Well, certainly the second half of that is true. The court did move to the right, and that is part of the reason uh, he ended up on, on the wing of the court that he did. Uh, but uh, as you said, he, he was you know, he was a Republican. He had Republican roots. He worked uh, in, in Congress uh, as a Republican um, and uh, a moderate Republican, but unquestionably that was his approach when he started. Uh, but as time went on, as more Republican mm -hmm. presidents got to appoint people, he ended up uh, uh, you know, being right. being on the left of the court. Yeah, and talk about also as a person because it is a human institution up there. They interact with each other. Chief Justice Roberts, on hearing of the death, said he brought to our bench an inimitable bl blend of kindness, humility, wisdom, and independence. I must say, I saw that when I was working up there for Justice Powell. He was an important force there, just for decency. Yeah, he, he sure was. You know, in, in the arguments, he would always, every time he would want to interject a question, he would always do it in the most polite way possible. He would say, may I just ask this one thing? Uh, you know, it, lots of people disagreed with him on, on, on things, but uh, you will not find right. somebody who didn't say that he is one of the nicest people that they'd ever met.